Howdy everyone, it's Luxball Gaming, and today we're going to be using Hydreigon in the Halloween Cup. Hydreigon is a Dark and Dragon type, which you usually see Dark and Dragon types like Zwilus and Guzzlord in the Halloween Cup. Hydreigon is usually used as a Master League pick or a pretty good raider. Since I don't have a Zwilus or a Guzzlord for Great League, I at least have a Hydreigon, so I decided to take it out, and it actually went positive with this team. Despite I went positive, I would not consider running it just because it's actually pretty expensive to build since Jelson and Hydreigon are 75,000 Stardust to double move, unless that's not a problem for you. Since I built this as an ABB team, you want to keep your elite alive, so sometimes you'll have to use shields there, and your backline is glassy, so that will also need shields. So it's really hard to save your shields to be able to use this team correctly which is why I don't recommend it. But I did Jelson as the lead in case we encountered any fighting types and Toxapex, just because I think the backline would be weak to Toxapex just because of the stat product. Greninja would be the safe switch since it's very good at generating an advantage. My Hydreigon is also single move because I didn't have any Stardust to double move it, which would have been amazing if I was able to flash cannon some carvings, or even have Dragon Pulse. Now without further ado, let's look at Hydreigon in the Halloween Cup. So this game, we had Jellicent into Drapion. We're going to want to switch in that matchup because our backline handles that better than our Jellicent. If they're on Aqua Tail for some chip damage, which means they are not running Sludge Bomb, and they come into Golbat, you want to go for the Hydro Cannon first because it's a much better move, and even if he went for a Night Slash and got a boost, the Golbat would just shield it. So since we land the Hydro Cannon, now the Night Slash threatens to KO. I figured I'd shield here because I'll get Switch or Shield Advantage. So opponent throws the energy, and this is perfect because now I can farm down with Jellicent and then have a shield ready for the Hydreigon. So Golbat is going to go for the Shadow Ball, and it almost takes us out. So if it was a Shadow, it would take you out. And with a defense drop, if a Golbat goes for a Poison Fang, the Shadow Ball would take you out. We switch into our Hydreigon, and they have a Greninja in the back. So they throw a Hydra Cannon and switch into their Drapion. Here's where Dragon Pulse would have been good, or even Flash Cannon. My opponent overformed too much energy with the Drapion, and the Brutal Swing takes it out. So now we're just going to farm down the Greninja for the win. Next game, Jellicent into Azumarill. This is exactly where we want to see Azumarill, so that way it stays away from our dark types. I like going for the CMP tie, although it doesn't really matter just because if they get a move through, you'll just get the move through back. And if you go for a CMP tie, no one gets the move through. So they do have play rough. And I'm just going to go for another CMP tie. And after landing this Shadow Ball, I'm going to go for a shield here because I want to preserve some health on my Jellicent when I dip out. After shielding the next play rough, you're going to see I make a misplay where I thought this was a third play rough, but it was only five bubbles, so it meant it was an ice beam. Now I want to switch out to see if they have another fairy lurking in the back, and they actually had Carbink. And this is fine switching into Greninja because I still have a water type here, and they come in with a tentacruel. You're probably thinking, since they have a carbink in the back, my hydreigon has no purpose, but I'm just going to go into my hydreigon after my greninja faints. So this boost I got probably could have won me the game, because since I got the boost, it threatens the second shield. Tentacruel goes for an acid spray, but we're going to be able to get the farm down before they can make it to a Scald, and we have all this energy loaded on our Jellison, so we're going to use it on this Carbink. First Surf connects, second Surf puts it close to the red, here's the third Surf, is this going to take out the Carbink? Yes it is. GG's as we move into the next game. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. Next game, Jelson into Nidoqueen. 
opponent safe switches into a shadow gold bat. They immediately went for the shadow ball and that would have been optimal timing, but because they switched out, it takes a turn to switch out. So I get a full hex through now. We do shield the shadow ball cause it would have KO'd since it's a shadow. After taking out their gold bat, they come in with a Greninja and I immediately switch into my Hydreigon. This is because I'll now have both water types aligned with the Needle Queen. Two Hydro Cannons actually takes out Hydreigon because it's really glassy in the Great League and I actually lost CMP against the Greninja. Unfortunately here, I go for a bad bait because my opponent knows since I have two water types, their Needle Queen was useless. So unfortunately, I throw two Night Slashes instead of one Hydro Cannon. I at least got a boost, but it doesn't matter because I switched out. Now all the opponent has is their Greninja, which they're going to start shielding. So I can survive this Night Slash and I can get one more move. You could throw the Shadow Ball here because I'm only getting to one more move, but it doesn't really matter. Unfortunately here, you see I got a lag spike and I lost a water shuriken. So I shield the night slash and I lost CMP. So I kind of lost that game because I didn't throw the correct move on the needle queen, but also courtesy of the lag spike. So I definitely would have won that game, but too bad. Next game into a charger bug. This is a Pokemon that is a pain to deal with. It can deal super effective damage against the entire team. I can't just switch in my Hydreigon because if they have an answer to my Hydreigon, then the Charger Bug is going to be able to roam free and deal super effective damage throughout the entire team. My plan here is to double shield the Jellicent and then catch the third discharge on my Hydreigon, but unfortunately, I switch out a little too early and unfortunately the Dragon Breath through didn't KO. So this X Scissor connects and puts us into the red health. They come in with Toxapex and we do not get this Brutal Swing off. And I'm actually going to tell you, this is going to lose us the game. Because Jelson is my Toxapex answer. I go for this Shadow Ball, which puts it into the yellow health range. They throw their energy to get rid of the Jellicent. And now all that's left is the Greninja. So I'm going to immediately throw this Night Slash in case we just get a boost. So Night Slash puts it into the red health and they are at the Sludge Wave here. So if I got in that Brutal Swing, I would have been able to take out the Toxapex already. After taking out the Toxapex, we're able to get a boost, which isn't going to matter after a Hisuian Quillfish farms us down. Next game, Jellicent into a Smackdown Shadow Tyranitar. My fast move deals no damage here. However, the Surfs threaten to KO. So it does get the first shield. The opponent goes for a CMP tie onto the second Surf. So at least they cannot make a catch. So this second Surf is going to get the second shield and I'm going to switch into Greninja. These are two glass cannons, so I will respect the damage. I know it is just a brutal swing, and they come in with a Swalot. We're going to go for this Hydro Cannon, and it just puts it into the yellow health range. Swalot is going to go for a Sludge Bomb. It doesn't take us out, but it gets pretty close, and I thought a Hydro Cannon does not take it out here. Maybe it would have, but I went for two Night Slashes instead. Now, does that mistake matter? Probably not because they just come back in with Tyranitar and Smack Farm us down and they come in with a Charge of Bug. Luckily, I'm able to catch the X Scissor and my opponent goes for an Undercharge here, which is actually scary, but they undercharged it too much and now we're able to take out the Charge of Bug and all that's left is Tyranitar and we have a Brutal Swing loaded to take out the Shadow Tyranitar. In the battle of pseudo legendaries in the Great League, Hydreigon came out on top. Next game, Jellicent sees a Toxicroak. Opponent switches into a Greninja, and we're going to switch into our Hydreigon. That way, it stays away from Toxicroak and hard counters the Greninja. Now, Greninja generates energy extremely quickly, so the next Hydro Cannon does KO, but we're able to farm it down. What are they going to come in with? I was expecting the Toxicroak, but they actually come in with Mandibuzz. 
And of course, here's where having a second move would have been beneficial. But unfortunately, like I said, I didn't have one this game. So we're just going to go for two brutal swings. This was a CMP tie. So now I can just let this go. I got in all the value I could have gotten out of my Hydreigon. So when I switch into Greninja, they come in with Toxicroak, but I just immediately switch out back into Jellicent. They go for a Mud Bomb. I throw one Hex, go for the Shadow Ball, and down goes Toxicroak after one more Hex. Now, all that's left is the Mandibuzz. The Surf is going to put it into the red health range. Um, shout out to Home Slice Henry for popping in my battles. The Dark Pulse takes out our Jellicent, and we have our Greninja against the Mandibuzz. They have two shields, and Aerial Ace doesn't take us out. Probably two Aerial Aces and Snarls, but my opponent actually doesn't even try to play the game out. I think they could have had a chance at winning, but you know, a win's a win. Next game, Jellicent into Zwilus. This time, I switch into Hydreigon just because Greninja is not that good. So our team's ABA weak to it, and unfortunately, they come in with an Azumarill. So our poor Hydreigon's basically hard countered. At least our Greninja does not have to see it. So we get to two Brutal Swings and actually put it into the yellow health range with our Hydreigon. We're going to come back in with our Jellicent, and I'm going to load up as much energy as I can here. So after taking a play rough and farming up to almost 100 energy, I'm going to go for the Shadow Ball, which takes out Azumarill. Now I'm actually going to unload my energy on this Hydreigon, no, on this Wireless to get some chip damage, and the opponent is actually using their shields. I was thinking, what if they did Dark Pulse to secure the KO, but unfortunately they did end up going for the Body Slam right there. There's the next Shadow Ball, and they shielded it again, and now... Our Greninja is going to come in here. Unfortunately, I threw out bad timing. I was trying to find the good timing to throw since we both switched out. Now, the second Hydro Cannon will take out the Wormadam Trash. And now, can we overcome the opponent's Zwilus? So we shield the Body Slam. We're going to go for a Hydro Cannon, which almost puts it into the red health range. And unfortunately, we cannot get to the Night Slash in time. Swilus takes us out with Body Slam, and we're not going to be able to get to a Surf. So maybe if I actually went for some Surf Baits against the Zwilus, I would have had enough energy to win that game. But moving into the next game, another Shadow Golbat. Since it's on the lead this time, they will be able to go for the Shadow Ball instantly on optimal timing. So after shielding the opponent's Shadow Ball, we're going to do one Hex and then throw our own Shadow Ball, and luckily we're able to get the farm down. Opponent immediately throws their Poison Fang, so that way they can get it off, and they come in with the Jellicent. I'm going to go for a Surf Bait here, just for it to be no shielded. Man, these battles, I was not on point when it came to baiting today. After switching into Greninja, they send in their Toxapex, which is pretty smart considering we still have our Jellicent. But that just means our Hydreigon is going to thrive against the opponent's Jellicent. So we're going for a Night Slash this time on the CMP tie. Opponent goes for our Brine anticipating the shield. So both of us are baiting and calling baits. Night Slash almost takes out the Toxpex. I snipe with Hydreigon. And now I'm just going to commit to fast moves. I shield the Shadow Ball just because... They're not going to bait against a Hydreigon. So here comes the next Shadow Ball, which puts us close to the red, actually. We actually can't get the farm down, and this Surf actually takes out our Hydreigon. But one fast move is all it takes to win this game. Here's our final game for Hydreigon Battles. Let's see if we can get our revenge on this Zwilus here. So we send in our Hydreigon, and this time the opponent stays in. Honestly, I think I should have let this go because I put it into a manageable health range because they also send in Fortress, so they have Shield and Switch Advantage. Brutal Swing puts it in the yellow health range, and we are just short of reaching the next Brutal Swing. Fortress looks like it's lagging a little bit, and they are going to go for an Earthquake. I didn't think this would do a lot of damage, and it actually puts us kind of close into the red health range. Farming up as much energy as I can and going for the Surf to take out the Zwilus. 
opponent comes back in with the Swilus, and we're going to go for the Shadow Ball, and it's shielded again. Do these Swilus really think I'm running Ice Beam? Unfortunately, I don't get to a move on my Jellicent, and that's going to seal my fate, as I also burn this shield, and after I take out the Swilus, you're going to see they have a Worm Madam Trash. So if I save the shield for this, I would be able to probably win this game, but the Bug Buzz is going to just come in and one hit KOs. I go for a Night Slash boost, which I actually get this game, but it's not going to matter because the opponent knows their win con, no shield the first one in case they get the boost, and Bug Buzz takes us out. Hopefully next time when I use my Hydreigon, I get it double moved. I definitely had fun with these battles. Next goal is going to be to hit Veteran. I've definitely been ranking up slower than other players right now, but I think I can hit Legend. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's battles, Hydreigon and the Halloween Cup. I'm Luxball Gaming, and I'll see you in the next video.